award-winning brokerage, research, and financial advisory firm, AfriInvest, marked two decades of its corporate existence in a great way as it hosted its friends, associates, and other guests to its 20th anniversary Grand Ball, which culminated with its 2015 launch of the Nigerian Banking Report here at the Oriental Hotel. It is indeed a pleasure to welcome you all to this double celebration we are having today. Um, firstly, we have to give thanks to God Almighty, who has made today possible uh, because he's seen us through 20 years of work, turmoil, fun, and success. Of course, he brought the cream of the financial market and the society in Nigeria to see how this company has evolved as a key player in the Nigerian financial market. In his opening remarks, the chairman of Afri Invest, Mr. Godwin Obaseke, took time to look at how the company has evolved and particularly stressed the fact that it has been blessed with quality staff. The story of Afri Invest started 20 years ago when some of us in the diaspora decided to come back home to take advantage of the opportunities we saw emerging across the globe at that time uh, with, imagine, with the, Berlin, the, the, the Berlin Wall coming down and capitalism triumphing. Some of us from school, from graduate school, decided to look back home and come and set up what we uh, envisaged will be a financial services company that could intermediate in mobilizing capital from our domestic uh, uh, local markets um, and take its place, its rightful place, in the emerging international market, financial marketplace at that time. Highlight of the event was the presentation of the 2015 Nigerian Banking Report by Mr. Ike Choke, who highlighted how the Nigerian financial system is presently and gave projections to what to expect in 2016. If you look at the GDP growth of Nigeria, over the last decade, uh, you've seen that we've averaged about 6% up to 2014, with some of the high points being the 8% in 2006 and 8% in 2010. Um, we are all aware that this year has uh, somewhat been lost due to political transition, so it's not uh, surprising that the GDP growth will drop to 4%, that's our forecast. Uh, by African Best Research, but we expect to see a rise in 2016 to about 5% on the back of, of restructuring efforts uh, by the new government. It also came to the point, the climax, when there was unveiling of the report by top Nigerian business leaders. Donald Lawson, Director of Invest. Sunny Irabo. Uh, please, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please, can you join us? Um, Dr. Nansang and um, Ike, you will now do the address. Okay, just put it together. All right, please give them a round of applause. Friends and associates of the company share what makes Afri Invest a unique <laughs> firm. Well, I mean, Afri Invest is, uh, without any doubt, um, I would say a world-class um, professional services firm that um, has done a lot of great things in the capital market. And I think um, what I would say uh, would probably be their greatest achievement will be the securitization of uh, federal government power bonds um, in the um, late 90s when uh, we had strict exchange controls, uh, when the market was very illiquid, and when there was you know, more or less no um, debt markets in Nigeria. Uh, and so Afri Invest at that time came up with an instrument that allowed people to um, take part in you know, uh, federal government uh, foreign exchange denominated instruments, uh, invest in them and be able to invest with them without um, having um, 
being exposed to exchange risks and also being able to invest small amounts. Yeah, I think the firm has done so well for itself. Um, it's been two decades of uh, professionalism, of churning out uh, very vital information about uh, the economy and the financial service world. Uh, they've been able to give uh, valuable insights to some of us that follow them into what is happening in the, in the economy and in the financial world. And uh, with that, they've been able to help a lot of companies position themselves to take advantage of uh, the economy. Well, I think it's a, it's a very great occasion. Um, it's not easy to do anything well in Nigeria for 20 years. And having this kind of celebration, I think, is very, um, is very heartwarming that a, an organization that started in a very humble manner has managed to weather the storms of the Nigerian environment and is today celebrating its 20 years. For Mr. Aike Choke, it has been all about creating value in the Nigerian financial market. I think the key thing about this year's banking report is um, we are witnessing a cycle in the oil price environment that's very similar to what happened in 2008. And how are the banks holding up to those challenges when you see oil prices decline from north of $100 per barrel down to below $50 per barrel. And what is remarkable is that the Nigerian banking sector has withstood that challenge very, very well much more so than what happened in 2008 and 2009 when the, you saw oil prices go from 141 to about $40 per barrel. And I guess it's a lesson in terms of people uh, realizing that we live in a monoproduct economy and there are always going to be cycles up and down. Now we're faced with an environment of competition between shale oil producers uh, trying to maintain market share and of course OPEC producers who have always had a larger market share insisting on maintaining volu volumes and output. So prices are very depressed. I suggest that will be, remain so for the foreseeable future. Within the banking sector, we've not seen uh, the level of non-performing loans we saw between 2008 and 2009 as a result. Uh, obviously, there are things to be careful about in the economy, but uh, indeed, Nigerian banks seem much more resilient and more prepared going forward in the years ahead. As we see Afri Invest involve and create impact in financial advisory, research, and of course brokerage services with award-winning deals, we can only expect that it will soar higher as it continues to reposition itself as a key and pace setter in the financial market. This is looking good. The title of the book again is Looking Ahead.